If you're the type to keep up with Netflix and all of its recent releases, you'd know that Made has recently been a fan favorite. The series follows a single mom who works as a house cleaner to give her daughter the best possible life. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why Made is Netflix's most loved show at the moment and why fans can't stop raving about it. Trigger warning, the video contains mentions of emotional abuse. The amazing cast, the story and characterization are important aspects of any TV show or movie. However, what really helps make the best of any TV series is the cast. The cast and the way they portray the characters are what brings life to the story. The cast for The Maid does exactly that. Annie McDowell, who plays the role of Alex's mother, does an excellent job of portraying the bipolar and narcissistic woman. Through her role, the audience gets to experience the struggles of an artist struggling with mental health. Another noteworthy character is that of Regina, played by Annika Noni Rose, who is known for voicing Princess Tiana in Princess and the Frog. Rose is able to bring out the vulnerable side of Regina, who appears cold and rude at first. There's a sharp rawness to her character, almost touchy. But perhaps the person that really makes you stay with the series is Alex, played by Margaret Qualley. It's a different style from the type of acting Qualley's used to, but it's a nice change nevertheless. How does it offer a glimpse into mental health? As briefly mentioned earlier, another reason why fans really appreciate Made is that it gives the audience a glimpse into mental health. Through the character of Paula, who's an artist, we see how life becomes a struggle for individuals suffering from mental health. We, as the audience, along with Paula, experience the highs and lows that come as a result of her bipolar disorder. The show also highlights the stigma that's attached to seeking help for mental illnesses. We see Paula refusing to seek help for her mental illness, which in turn makes things even more difficult for her and her daughter. In addition to this, Netflix's Made addresses the issue of emotional abuse. We see Alex struggling to get over her childhood trauma and the trauma that comes with being in a toxic relationship. At one point, the show does become frustrating as we see Alex falling into the same cycle over and over again, but she's able to eventually bring herself out of this situation. The moment is actually quite empowering. The characters aren't black and white. An issue with a lot of recent series is that oftentimes the characters are flat. They seem very one-dimensional with little to no actual personality. Fortunately, one of the best things about the characters in Made is that they're all well fleshed out. They're realistic. You don't have a bad category or a good category. The characters have different shades to them. Take Alex's mother, for instance. We see Paula as she struggles through her own issues, but we also see how she can sometimes have a negative impact on her daughter. Whether she means to or not is a whole other debate. Another example is Regina's character. She seems cold and rude at first. That's not all that defines her character. As the series progresses, the audience catches a glimpse of her vulnerabilities, makes the character more real, more relatable in a sense. They don't just seem like perfect characters on the screen. The characters are more human, making mistakes and learning from them eventually. We see Alex constantly making the same mistakes over and over again. But as the series progresses, we also see her grow and learn from each mistake. It addresses the issues that come with poverty. When the topic of poverty is brought up, oftentimes it's only a certain type of image that comes to mind. The thing about Maid is that it shows how experiences of poverty can vary depending on people. So many factors such as race, gender, and even sexuality can have a part to play. Plus with Maid, as Stephanie Land highlighted in her interview, Alex is a white woman. Her experiences of poverty aren't the same as they would have been for, say, a black woman. But if a single white woman has to struggle so much within the welfare system, imagine how it would be for a person of color. In Maid, we see Alex is struggling to provide the very best for her daughter. However, there are times where we see that Alex is still able to afford some things over others. For instance, we see that Alex uses SNAP, or the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, which allows her to purchase certain food items from certain stores using an electronic benefits card. The card works in a manner similar to a debit card, but we see how it barely covers groceries such as ready-to-eat items, toiletries, and diapers. We also see Alex as she experiences being homeless, not once, but multiple times. It highlights how vulnerable and reliant she becomes on others just because she doesn't have a roof over her head. After quite some hard work and living in a domestic violence shelter, Alex and her daughter Maddie are finally able to find transitional housing. However, the apartment they initially find is filled with black mold, which makes Maddie sick. When Alex tries to find new housing, we see her struggling to find a place with rental assistance. Is it based on a true story? Perhaps 
perhaps the reason why everything in this series feels so realistic and relatable is that it is real. Made is based on Stephanie Land's memoir, Made, Hard Work, Low Pay, and the Mother's Will to Survive. Land, who had escaped an abusive relationship and did not have much support from her family, had to scrub toilets between 2008 to 2016, just to make sure her daughter had basic necessities. She eventually penned down all of her struggles in her memoir, which instantly became a bestseller in 2019 on the New York Times list. The book was recently adapted as a Netflix series titled Made. Perhaps it's because the events in Made are based on actual instances that they feel so much more impactful. In an interview, Land spoke about how she wished that her story would help others like her feel more validated and to feel less alone. Plus, the cast and crew do an amazing job at portraying Land's story. Highlights issues within the welfare system. Another reason why Made is a remarkable series is that it highlights the issues that are present within the welfare system. The issue with SNAP that we highlighted earlier is only one example. Another example is seen when Alex tries to get welfare assistance when she first leaves her abusive partner. After failing to find help from her mother and best friend, tries to apply for government welfare programs for housing and childcare. She fails to do so as she requires proof of employment to be eligible. However, she can't really work either without housing or childcare. In another instance, we hear Denise, who runs the domestic violence shelter, tell Alex that it takes victims seven attempts to leave their abusers. It's partly due to the shame and fears the victims feel, but it also is because of the lack of meaningful support in welfare institutions. Struggles of a single mother. Above all else, Maid shows us the struggles of a single mother. Alex is failed by her partner, her family, and even the government welfare system. She's left on her own to do whatever she can within her capacity to provide food and shelter for her daughter. At the start of the series, we see Alex finally building up the courage to leave her abusive husband who, although hasn't hit her physically yet, has been emotionally abusive and constantly under the influence of alcohol. Later, when she goes to the social service shelter, she's asked why she never reported the issue. Alex's response shows hints of how she lacked faith in the welfare system. It makes one wonder, had a proper system been in place where Alex has access to housing and basic necessities, would she be able to leave her husband sooner? Keep in mind that after constantly struggling for a while and being unable to provide for her daughter, Alex does return to her husband as she has no better option. Even the maid service she tries to work for is ripping her off. Maid highlights how the system doesn't take kindly to poor single women. Even if on paper a system is in place to help out struggling mothers, in practice there are way too many issues and loopholes for the system to actually be of benefit. The thing about Netflix is Maid is that the series is a realistic depiction of a single mother's struggles. Does not have the usual drama or suspense one would expect from your usual Netflix shows. Perhaps it is this that makes the show all the more endearing to the audience. Have you completed the limited series yet? What are your thoughts on the show and the way it depicts Alex's struggles? Drop us a comment and let us know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.